Hey all, this is Lou Blank from The Outsider. Uh, I'm here at the Polk County Steak Fry, one of the biggest events in Iowa prior to the caucuses, and I'm gonna ask some voters around for who they support and why. Hey, uh, can I have you guys' names quick? I'm Daniel Estrada. I'm Jalen Seabrooks. I'm Seth Carter. And you guys are all supporting Warren, right? Yes. Committed Warren, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, could you guys give me just some of your reasons for supporting Warren? Uh, for me, it's about, I see all her policies, and that's bringing a lot of accountability back to the government. So. Um, her child care policy is really important to me. I like that she has a plan for everything, and I think she recognizes that wealth inequality is one of the great issues that we face in America and is taking and has many plans to help solve that. Awesome, awesome. Now, there are clearly, I would say, two very progressive candidates in the race, Bernie and Warren. A lot of people, a lot of progressives are going for Bernie, a lot are going for Warren. Why did you choose Warren over Bernie, who's the fellow progressive in this race? So I think Bernie was really influential in, I guess, pushing the Democratic Party more left. But Elizabeth Warren has taken that to the next level and basically proposed actual policies that could be implemented and that are very practical. It's a stain on our country that we've never had a female president, and I won't support anyone for president until we have a female president. Um, I think Bernie is more by philosophy a socialist. I think regardless of the position America was in, he would be advocating for the same policies he is now. Where I think Elizabeth Warren is truly capitalist, but again is just addressing the issue of wealth inequality. And so I know in the past, Bernie has advocated for getting rid of the stock market. And I don't, I don't believe in that. I think the stock market is the correct way to fund business and not doing it through the government. And I think Elizabeth Warren is just the difference between I'm doing these things because of wealth inequality, but not because by philosophy I think we should be a more socialist country. All right, and what are, just like real briefly, what are some of your favorite policies that Warren has proposed? Um, for me, I think her gun policy and the immigration policy. Okay. Uh, her child care policy and her health care policy. Um, I think her education policy is one of the really big things that can bring equal opportunity to America because you can't expect everyone to have the same chance at equal outcomes if you don't have the same opportunity to get an education. Would you mind giving me your name? Yeah, Ben Hopkins. Awesome. And would you like to also talk? No. I'm not no all right. <laughs> so, Ben, um, what candidates are you thinking of considering the most and, and what's your ideas there? Yeah, I, I really haven't made up my mind. Um, I kind of like the idea of, of coming at this from the center. I just think as a general matter, I think the country could kind of use that because it's so polarized right now. So that, um, you know, Biden's of interest to me, um, but I, I really haven't made up my mind, and so it's, it'll, it'll, we'll just kind of wait and see how it plays out. That makes sense, and your idea of coming at it from the center, is that mostly based on policy, or do you think it's more of like a no. social? It's more of a social okay. issue, yeah. From a policy standpoint, I understand the progressive point of view and would probably lean that direction. It's just um, socially, the, it, it seems like if we can build out the center, maybe even on the conservative side as well, I think kind of long term that's better for the kind of social fabric of the country to approach things that way. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think a lot of people would say, like, with policies like Medicare for All and things, like, those are, like, necessities uh, because, like, you know, they're, you know, medical bankruptcy, people who have serious injuries or even or even die because they can't afford health care. I think a lot of people would say we should be putting policies first. Uh, do you, so do you see the, the, social, the social issues as, as superseding all that? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a balancing act for sure. Um, and you got to pick and choose the, from the policy standpoint. But I think getting there incrementally is probably the way we've, we've got to do it. Um, you know, the, the, the problem with some of those policy solutions, which, which in principle I, I, you know, I share, is that it seems to alienate like another 49 or 51 percent of the people when you start going, you know, going at it that, taking the non-incremental approach. So, to my way of thinking, a more, I mean, from a strategy standpoint, from kind of a, a, a social standpoint, a more incremental approach is better. But um, it kind of depends on where the where the country is. If 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 we could get a leader that can mobilize you know, more than 51% for a concept like that, then I think it starts to really become kind of more of a possibility, and that's that's when we should approach those more aggressive kind of policy objectives. What's your name? Paul. Paul. Lenny. Awesome. And do you want to? Oh, all right. <laughs> and why are you supporting Mayor Pete? 
Uh, we are a gay couple. Uh, we also believe in his policies, and he seems to be focusing on the middle class. So. I think he's cute. <laughs> there you go. Um, do you guys agree with his stance on um, supporting a, a Medicare buy-in as opposed to a full-on Medicare for all? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. And why is that? I think it's more attainable for most of the general population. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Would you mind uh, giving me your names? Bill Moraine. Suzanne Chester. Amber Lawrence. Awesome. And real quick, who do you, who are you guys considering, or, or who do you guys think you're going to support in uh, for the caucuses? Elizabeth Warren. Cory Booker. Elizabeth Warren or Andrew Yang. Or Andrew Yang. Okay. So, uh, what are some of the reasons that you're considering those candidates? Elizabeth Warren has introduced uh, all of the in, the uh, subjects that I'm interested in, and she is bringing the campaign to a broader agenda. I like Cory Booker's stand on gun reform, and I like his experience and his age. I'm a pre-service teacher, so Elizabeth Warren's experience in being a public school teacher really interests me. Awesome. First, I'd like to ask a question to the, the two Warren supporters. I think there are two, um, most people would agree that there are two real progressive candidates in this race, like to the furthest left, which are Warren and Bernie Sanders. What to you elevates Elizabeth Warren over Bernie Sanders? Uh, a, a more... Uh, more congenial appearance and a track record with uh, her specialty of, of uh, against the banks and so forth. Okay, okay. And what to you would elevate Warren over Bernie Sanders? I just really like her experience being a public school teacher since that's something really important to me. 